Thanks, Charlie. Well, an enticing prospect ahead of us. This senior eight, 60 kilo bout, and well, as expected, Ali Shrew starting with some just bizarre posturing. Put in a good performance yesterday, but my word, confidence isn't even the right adjective, is it, John? He's almost showboating already, dropping his hands, just standing there waiting for Smith to come towards him. Not really a recommended tactic, but this draw, Ali seemed very confident indeed. He's come over from Norway with a, well, with a knot of supporters. One of a number of brothers who made it into the finals. And what's a static opening minute from both these two. We know that Mason Smith is a hot prospect. A sharp jab to the body and he can bang a little bit as well. And there it is, right hand lands. And you see uh, Schroer just stretching out the jaw muscles. He felt that. I don't know whether he'll get away with the sort of posturing and sort of showboating that we saw yesterday against a lad of Mason Smith's quality, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes, Smith now opens up with a nice combination. It's Cleach Straw, well, swaying back there, but he's bringing his gloves up a little bit, and that's the risk when you try to drop your hands and sway back from punches. A hard shot over the top can catch you, but sometimes Straw is getting away with it. I always teach you uh, to just pull your head back out of range like that and lean back. And very few got away with it. And it springs to mind was Nassim Hamid, and that was on occasion because he also had a very good chin indeed. And Ali Shrew on the end of a couple of nice shots here. He's evaded a few, but he's also eaten a few. And Mason Smith stalking him, solid jab to the body. Much the taller, stronger looking man, Smith. And he's just taking his time, and either putting each other under pressure. Nice counter shot, and what Smith needs to do is not get irritated by that showboating, not get sucked out of his own game. Just someone's being unusual, tricky, and you haven't quite figured them out yet. Just stick to your textbook boxing. Straw there, switching to Southport, swinging at Smith, missing, and then making Smith miss with three or four shots of his own, bobbing and weaving. Uh, you like the style or not, hard to take your eyes off it. And he's landed a nice couple of shots to the head there of Mason Smith. And Stewart just carry a bit of power with him. Mason Smith, much more compact, orthodox style, both in stance and in the manner in which he throws shots. But he's a little bit wild with those hooks. Straw leans in, and I don't think there'll be any love lost between those two after those first couple of minutes. Straw is almost snarling at him just at the end, just at the end of the first round. And I suppose if it gets a bit scrappy like that, you could see heads clashing. You could see, could see a cut maybe if they're not careful. Well, there's already some blood from the nose of Ali Straw after his semi-final yesterday. We know that he is vulnerable to a shot or two, and he can be hurt as well. Wobbled on occasion. And he did stick around to watch Mason Smith's semi final after he boxed yesterday. So you'll know roughly what he's up against. So the second round ahead. Three minute round, senior A class, 60 kilo category. Ali Schroer in the red, Tonsberg in Norway, Mason Smith from Finchley Amateur Boxing Club in London in the blue. He's well supported here, Mason Smith, but his family, friends, and fans are being a little bit quiet. I suppose Smith's having to be cagey here and careful with the unusual proposition in front of him. Oh, it's a lovely lead right hand there. It's glanced off the side of the cheek of Ali Shrew. Shrew has got an abundance of hand speed, good footwork too. He's just waiting, isn't he, Shrew? Trying to lure Smith in before he uncorks on those heavy shots. Well, 
good head movement from Stewart, and he is making Smith miss on occasion. And he's showing patience and a little bit less posturing, a little bit less playing about, and perhaps a reflection that the level of opposition he's up against has indeed risen. Nice jab to the body from Mason Smith. Smith at least is the one being a bit more active here. You know, picking out a jab every now and again, just landing a shot. It's sure, it is tricky. Oh, that's a nice down. combination from Ali Srot. Smith now putting him under pressure. Terrific encounter this. And now Srot on the ropes and Smith oh, unloading. Right. He's got Ali Srot in trouble. The referee hasn't stopped at his minister to standing eight count, but spaghetti leg from Ali Swirl. We said he was hurtable yesterday, and Nathan Smith has proved it. Smith in the corner. Can he capitalise? No, now it's boxing. You can just hand someone a standing count if they haven't been dropped. Gives the referee an opportunity to check they're all right. Well, but getting... now Straw's getting cleaned up, so he's been given the chance to recover. Yeah, good. Best part of half a minute. And Sure, comes swinging in, but the legs are not underneath him. He hangs on. Yeah, Smith has got to pounce on this opportunity. Sure, will not keep swinging. A lovely right hand there. Takes him down for the second time. Sure on his feet. Blood from the nose of him, but he's gung ho. He's going to fight till the end, but can Smith get the finish? Sure locks him up in the corner. I thought it was going to be interesting. It's living up to expectations. Mason Smith senses that the end is night. Jabs away to the body again, and Sruer now just seems to perhaps have his legs underneath him. And our left hook comes out with a nice counter from Smith, and now he opens up again, catches Sruer through the centre of the guard, and now he's opening up. Not a lot coming back from Sruer. He swung and missed, bears his teeth at Smith. Absolutely terrific final. Certainly pick of the afternoon so far. And now Sruer lands a right hand of his own. And Smith took it well. Smiles to the crowd who rise in appreciation. John, that's got to be round of the tournament so far, isn't it? Probably so far, yeah, I think so. And Straw was defiant, but he was getting beaten up there. And after that first standing count, Straw's balance didn't look quite all right. Maybe that second knockdown, that second time he touched down, he was half swinging himself off balance. But I think the power of Smith had gotten to him. And he's... Even even right at the end, when he was walking back to his corner, he didn't like to see like his legs fully back, fully under him. Well, it was a cagey opening round, and uh, another bizarre one. Look at the blood pouring from the nose of Ali Straw. But Mason Smith has turned the tide firmly in his favour through round two. And we knew it had the makings of a good one, and it's just great when a about lives up to expectations yeah it's great to see a young boxer like mason smith it's been very interesting to see what happens, where he goes after this so smith and through to battle it out for three more minutes two knockdowns for smith in the second round but through defiantly and viciously swinging away and he certainly will not go quietly Mason Smith stalks. Oh, Smith's mm. caught him with a nice counter. But Shrew runs, caught Smith with a nice counter. But now Smith begins to open up and he's hurt. Shrew's taking some big shots. He says to the referee, he's okay. Not, to say, a lot of blood flew ringside. The referee saying box on. Shrew has shown, not just showboating that he did yesterday, he's actually shown some real strength of character because he's been up against it. He comes back clubbing. Shots to Mitchell, uh, to, to Mason Smith rather. He will not go quietly. Oh, certainly would have earned Mason Smith's respect here, if nothing else. And we've shown that there's more substance to add to the style that we have seen from Ali Shrew. But Mason Smith is the boss of this one so far. Shrew oh. steps in, clubbing left and right hand. Didn't seem to bother Smith though. Looks clear-headed and he just covers up. Oh, bizarre from Ali Sura there, and the referee didn't look impressed at all. Pulling the head down of Smith and then throwing a punch as he went down. I think the referee intercepted that punch, which was good refereeing. 
But yeah, still dangerous, true. Yeah, so wild animals that are their most dangerous when they're hurt and caged and cornered and Shrew at the moment is a real example of that. It goes down again. It was a slip that time. Goodness me. Both boxers have given each other something to think about. Nice counter left hook from Mason Smith. Sure, for much a small amount, really does pack some venom in those shots. Oh, goodness me, a left hand counter from Sure. Smith caught it flush on the chin. Oh, goodness me, Sure swinging back again. And Smith needs to be careful with those. He's in the ascendancy, but he doesn't want to get carried away. And wander on. Well, one credit, of credit to Ali Shrew, really, John, because he looked down and out two and a half, three minutes ago, and now this is anybody's round. Mason Smith digging in that one, too. Shrew now with the hands down, leads with the jazz, swings and misses with the right. Smith counters, nice flurry and a glove, I think, touched down from Ali Shrew there. And I'll notice by the referee, what a tremendous encounter it was. <laughs> That was exhausting to watch. I dread to think what those two men feel like. 